this video may or may not be going really, really fast because I just learned how to brew my own espresso and I am highly caffeinated! What is up you guys, it is Miranda, welcome back to the Weekly Fangirl. This week is not what I promised it was going to be. Big surprise. So many things have happened this week in fandom news, in my own personal life, I've been super super busy. And to be perfectly honest, I have not had time to read the fourth chapter of Life and Death Twilight Reimagined, so this week is not going to be a fangirl reads like I promised. I have somewhere to be in like an hour, so we're gonna make this quick, but here are just a couple of things that happened this week, starting from top to bottom, Lego. I just stole Superwoman's bit, I am so sorry Lily, forgive me! Hiddlestoners were all afloat of this week when Ben Wheatley's High Rise had a brand new photo shoot released to the public, including one particular photo that we were all hoping for and never thought we'd get, of Tom Hiddleston himself laid out on a sun lounger, completely nude except for a tasteful magazine just conveniently covering his kibbles and bits. Hiddles and bits? I'm not prepared. Not prepared at all. I'll be in my bunk. Marvelites were excited to see Agent Carter return for a brand new adventure in the Hollywood Hills of sunny California, along with the incomparable Mr. Jarvis and a pink flamingo named Bernard, apparently. I was only able to catch the promo material, I wasn't able to see the episode, so please do not spoil it for me in the comments, I haven't seen it yet, but I finally managed to catch up on season one this week, which is why I was also a little bit busy because I was kind of drowning in my tears and I couldn't wait for season two. So that is going to be my mission for this week. Week. In DC news, Suicide Squad got a brand new trailer and it is amazing! Did I just say Margot Robbie isn't just hot, she's actually really funny? Cannot wait to see that movie, it comes out later this year and I am so, so excited! In fangirl news, I turned 23 this week, what? Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday, belated birthday to me. Me and my friends actually got to hang out, go to Dave and Buster's, play some arcade games. It was amazing, and you will never guess what my friends got me for my birthday. Are you ready? Are you ready? You're not ready. Ah! Oh my god, it's the Loki dress from Hot Topic with this helmet on the border, and it's so pretty. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't entirely fit right now, which really, really sucks. But Chelsea, Addy, don't worry, I'm not returning it, I'm keeping it. I didn't think I was gonna do it, I said I wasn't gonna do it, I really, really didn't want to do it, but I'm doing it. I'm getting fitter this year, and this is gonna be my aspiration. Fangirl will be getting fit because I really want this dress to fit. Because said friends also made plans with me to go to Motor City Comic Con this summer, and now I have something to wear. So, this is what I'm wearing, I'm committing to it, not like, it's not gonna be like the fangirl reads thing. This I'm actually gonna do. Well, just you wait, I'll show you, I'll do it. I will commit to this and I will actually hold on to this commitment because I want to wear this dress so bad. I want to be able to meet DC legends Adam West and Burt Ward while wearing a Marvel themed outfit. It just seems right. Yes, that's the other bit of news that I found out about this week. Adam West, the Adam West, and the Burt Ward, the original Batman and Robin, are going to be at Motor City Comic Con this year. What? My history with Motor City Comic Con has so far been pretty impressive. The one that I went to before, I think it was 2013, I got to meet the one and only Stan the Man Lee with my friend Chelsea. Don't believe me, you say? Well, what do you say to this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, who's that? Who's that? And who's that? That would be me. My hair was longer, but it's still okay. May 18th, 2013, best day of my life! And this is my lovely friend Chelsea. She was there too. She saw the whole thing. He called me dear. It was so great. And this year will be no different. I get to meet Adam West. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I don't even know how much tickets cost yet, but I don't care. Ah! Also, in YouTuber news, Superwoman got to go on to Jimmy Fallon this week! You knew there was a reason I referenced her earlier, right? Congratulations, Lily, from one YouTuber to another. Bravo! I'm so proud of you, girl! I know this video was kind of all over the place. You can blame my highly caffeinated nature. I really wasn't lying. I learned how to brew my own espresso this week, so it's gonna be a, a jittery day. <laughs> But I also really do have somewhere to be, so I have to wrap this up, but I am so, so happy that I was able to make this video this week. I didn't think I was going to, honestly. For a second there, it was a little touch and go. I thought I was actually going to be blowing you guys off, but I didn't because you guys are awesome, and I wanted to bring something to the table, even if it wasn't fangirl reads. It will be next week. I will read the chapter this week, I promise, and I will try to find Season 2, Episode 1 of Agent Carter and catch up in time for Season 2, Episode 2, so that I'm in the loop that we have something to talk about. That is all for me from this week. I have been Miranda. This has been the Weekly Fangirl. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more of my videos. Give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.